my students welcome to today's class hope that by seeing the picture you are able to understand that what i am going to teach you today fine today we will learn to draw the structure of hibiscus flower the structure that is longitudinal section of a flower now when we talk about a flower can you tell me the reproductive part of a plant yes very good the reproductive part of a plant is a flower now in the flower also can you tell me the reproductive parts of a flower yeah the reproductive part of the flower is stamen and carpel or pistil we call it fine come let's learn to draw the structure of this flower that is hibiscus we'll start from the upper region it's very simple come in this way come straight down fine full down and then you draw a bulge structure here perfect now this bulge structure we call it as ovary now we have to draw the inner part to draw the inner part just come in this way pointed region make it a oval structure bring it twice fine perfect now we have to remember that an ovary contains ovule inside it now when we draw the ovule we have to draw the three structure here two three down also same one two three at the center two small structure so this is our ovary down we come here when we see the flower hibiscus what do we find here at the down leaves are there we have sepals the green part called as the sepals so we'll draw the sepal now to draw the sepal what what you have to do come in this way like this perfect another sepal it is a leaf like structure not leaf what is it a leaf like structure but it is not the leaf i'll show you here so this is what we call it as a sepal it is green in color what is the color of sepal green color so what is it let us try to label it is sepal sepal then we'll come to this extension now this is the female reproductive part the female reproductive part it consists of we'll categorize it the upper part the upper part is known as stigma what do we call it 
stigma. Let's write it with capital letter itself only. Stigma. Now we have an elongated structure here. That elongated structure we call it as a style. What is it? Yeah, it is a style. Style. And this bulged portion, this bulged portion we call it as a ovary. What is it? Ovary. Ovary. Now stigma style ovary. This is the female reproductive part of a flower. All together, three. We call it as a pistil. Pistil or carpel. So this is the female reproductive part of a flower. Now let us draw the male reproductive part of a flower. It comes in different way in different flower. When we talk about the male reproductive part, you can see this yellow colored parts. So these yellow colored parts, all these parts, these are called male reproductive parts. Let us draw it. Like this. One side, you can draw it. Fine. Now let us try to label the parts of parts of stamen. Stamen is the male reproductive part of a flower. Stamen, it consists of anther, anther and then this elongated structure. We call it as a water filament, right? So male reproductive part, it consists of water, anther and filament. What do we call this male reproductive part? We call it as a stamen. What is it? Stamen. Clear with female reproductive part called as pistil or carpel. Male reproductive part, it is known as stamen. Stamen, it has the division as anther and filament. Anther, it consists of pollen grains present in it. Now, the colored part of the flower. The colored part of the flower, what do we call it? Right, the colored part of the flower, we call it as petals. So, let us draw petals. This is our petals. The colored part of the flower. Here you can see this colored part of the flower. We call it as water petals. Fine. 
these all are petals the colored part now we have come here if we remove all these parts these are what male reproductive part if we we'll remove all these male reproductive parts then we will get the female reproductive part left out come now we we'll learn the different parts of the flower already we have learned we we'll learn its function now first with sepal so this is sepal what is its function it protects the unopened flower so what is its function it protects protection is its function you can see here that how it will wrap the ovary so it protects its function is protection second we have the colored part we call it as petals now all these colored part are called petals what is their function they are brightly colored so that these petals these petals will attract the insects and that will help in the process of pollination next we have stamen stamen as we know is the male reproductive part of a flower each stamen it consists of what anther and filament so it is the male reproductive part of a flower it helps in the process of fertilization then next in stamen we have anther anther what is its function it produces male sex cells or we call it as pollen these are pollen grains the yellow colored part so anther it produces what it produces male sex cells that is pollen grains next female reproductive part as we know it has stigma style style and then ovary the function of stigma it is the topmost part of the flower it is the female part of a flower and its function is what it collects the pollen grains now these pollen grains its function is it collects the pollen grains and this pollen grains will grow as a pollen tube and that tube will emerge inside the ovary it will come inside the ovule and hence what happens the process of fertilization it occurs this is our pollen tube it is attached to the stigma from the stigma it moves towards the ovary now we'll see the ovules present in it see all these small small small
grain like structure so this is our ovary ovary is having ovules present in it hence the pollen tube will transfer the pollens and the fertilization of male and female germ cell will occur next we have ovary what is the function of ovary it produces female sex cells what is its function it produces female sex cells so these are all the functions of each part of a flower to get the latest videos subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get the structure and notes click the link of the web website given in the description below the video